Alright, going into the third battle. Let's see what we can do. Man, I should probably not be on this side. Eh. I'm obnoxious no matter which side I'm on. I'll stay on this side. So, we are not swapping Karma for Fiora because she is a combo card and I do not need to rely on an accidental combo card. Five mana, five, five has won me games. Four mana, don't need it. Jeweled Protector is great. Radiant Guy is great. They're both great. I think I can just skip this trade. Oh, I don't have that uh, if I lose notification again, so I might have a temporary reprieve if this doesn't go well. Let's see. Not sponsored by Rockstar. If this, hopefully this battle's fast enough, win or lose, that I can cut two games in this. Never, don't need it in opening hand. Uh, I am not keeping that. I don't like any of these. I don't think there's a single worst card I could get. Yeah, those are pretty bad. Noxus. Okay. I'm trying to think if I'm supposed to take the trade. Yeah. Like, I was taking one damage anyway. There was no reason to do that. Uh, gotta play something pre-combat. He'll match it. supported ally quick attack this round. Note to self, kill this guy first. That's huge. Pre-combat 5-4... He's gonna have the first strike. All right. Ugh. Yeah. Gotta get the timing a little bit better. I wanted to use this, but I forgot I had to immediately do it in blocks and not just wait uh, unless he did something. So that's okay. Uh, there's absolutely no way I'm attacking with that. So I'll do this. It's unlikely he'll put something else out because if it's high impact, I'll kill it. As of right now, I'm fairly confident, even though this is an X2, I'm going to just kill this guy. Uh, yeah, I'm pretty confident. This is actually kind of rough. 
Huh. Like, I can't give this guy first strike, so... Hmm. Hmm. Alright. I also have a nice little trick. That I've been kind of sandbagging. Yasuo. Sure. Stun an enemy. I'm trying to make sure he doesn't stun or recall the unit. Unfortunate. I'll be taking a ton of damage this turn, but... I didn't necessarily have a lot of stuff going on. He clearly tried to go all in on this Yasuo, so unless he has any way to stop this, I'm just preventing his Yasuo from mattering. Recall a unit. Okay. Unfortunate. I am dead. He got me. He had the exact answer. So... Not much I can do. I didn't have enough early board state. Uh, he should just attack here. Yep, there's literally nothing I can do. I'll just give it to him. Unfortunate. There is RNG. You can still draw bad cards. Um, you can be get, you know, got the good thing is that match is done. It didn't cost me anything and I can keep going forward. All right, get rid of this ridiculous six mana spell for a one mana two two elite. Mm, back to basics is good, but not necessarily better than a creature. Warrant duelist versus single combat. No, I don't need another single combat. I will take that trade, though. Okay, so now uh, I cannot lose this fight. So we are 2-1 and one going into this. Let's take a quick look. Hopefully... I have a little bit more of an interactive gameplay. It was a really good hand, though. He played well. He had the right answer. Uh, again, we're not looking for value cards early. We're looking to get on the board early. And it's unfortunate. And unless I rip a one drop, I'm not going to have too much to do here. Oh, never mind. I'm great. This is great. Deck's great. You may go. Do you also have a one drop? Take two. I'm going to tempo this out. But my hope is that he plays something that's like, I don't know, like a one three or something. Hmm, interesting. That is a good card. Well, you're not gonna attack this turn, so. Oh, barrier this round. Unfortunate. I thought barrier stayed until it went. Oh, well. He went, really? Mono color? That scares me. 
Because either he literally found the greatest packs, the greatest pools, and just went super hard in, or I don't, he just decided he only wanted to be in one color and it was probably going to work out for him. But he's also, I don't know what the MMR for matchups are. Like, am I only place fighting against people who are 2 1? Am I just fighting a, st a random person at the line? Again, we don't make money by attacking second combat, so let's go. Okay. Is that mushroom cloud? Okay. I wouldn't have baited him into playing something pre-combat with a 1-1. And also, this is not a high-impact character. And again, I got lucky. If he did play something pre-combat, I had plenty of creatures to play to force it up. So, no problems. Oh, fun. Okay. Um... Do I have any elites in hand? No. So I'll play the thing that trades on board with that. Kind of preventing him to take an attack this turn. No, I'm good. So, I can definitely do that, and I'm not going to give him a tempo value trade, but yeah, that's fine. That is not a bad one. Play, deal one to all enemy units. Now you got it, man. I guess I will contest with I just want to save a little bit. There's a chance I draw a spell that isn't garbage. This contest that uh, at even money, so He has two cards in hand, but I know what they are, and they're not impacting right now. So, one, two, three. It's a four to four. We're, we're at parity for card value, unless he has a way to start discarding cards for value, which is technically a Noxus thing. I'm not terrified. Oh, that's interesting. I want to get this Karma down. Deal one damage to all minions. Um, so if I do this, it doesn't do anything, right? Like, if I do this, it prevents him from doing an attack with both and gives me an even money trade. Uh, I think I'm going to do this defensively. So I, I know that doesn't seem right, but I'm doing this defensively to just kind of save a little bit more and force him to use more of his features or more of his cards and access because he can't attack now like he has to throw both of these things in for an attack and i do have a follow-up play in vanguard squire i did want to get karma down but i'm totally okay with uh 
not. All right, go ahead. But he's not going to attack here. He is going to attack here. Interesting. Well, I'll take this double trade. Or make you use a card to kind of interact with me. I'm okay with either of these situations. I believe the longer this game goes on, the more I have control, but I have not seen their... Uh, I'm assuming Teemo, right? Like It's got to be Teemo Eimerdinger or something like that. Oop. I don't think at two mana I'm worried about what he's going to play. And I know I'm going to chip in for three before I allow anything to happen. So my next turn is pretty set up. Let's see what I can do. Why are you in my deck? You are a bad card. I know of that card. Hmm. So I want to get Karma out. But Enlightened is 10 mana, so I don't really... He has too much, ma he has too much mana open and three car four cards that I don't know about. I, I can't represent a 4-3 and expect it to survive. But uh, a generic 5-4, at least, you know, both my cards contest his board. Whatever he plays for five mana as a creature is probably going to be contested relatively well by these two. I should be okay. And I'm getting a little bit of value on the tail end of this card, so. Yeah, it's fine. There are how many mushrooms? Ten puff caps? Come on. Nope, I'm good. I also much prefer to play Karma at the end of their turn if the opportunity comes up because it gives me uh, a free extra card at the end of their turn. So sometimes those make they make a difference, but it just feels like a little bit more tempo oriented. Was this a 5-5 five, five quick strike? I don't like that at all. Um, so if I do this, he can't attack. And I'm going to uh, Navori Conspirator this back to my hand. What is that? Create a random spell. Okay, cool. Is it four mana and Will of Ionia? Because that would suck. My turn. No, it's fine. No, go ahead, attack. Oh. give an ally challenger this round so it is really bad to pre-combat that no I'll do this He has a lot of value in his hand. I'm afraid of what that one card was. That's weird. Okay. I'm setting up the big karma turn, too. I have a lot I can do. That doesn't do anything. He still has six mana. Send it back to him. When he hits actual pass, I will slam Karma. Okay. Three, two, one. Okay. 
Yeah, there's you have no way to interact with Karma. Oh, the greed. Am I committing five to this? No, I'm fine. So we get a free spell, my turn starts and she transforms. Or his turn starts and she transforms. That is not a great card. Uh... Create a random spell, refill your mana. That's a good card. Oh, your spell mana, okay. I'm thinking of like crazy things I can do where I Dusk to Dawn Karma, because it'll make five copies of Karma and then cast one spell and watch it go insane. Uh, but we'll see. How many puff caps do I have? 22 out of 19. 27, 30, okay. Do? Deal seven damage to a unit? Oh, it's all the mana for all the damage. You're choosing the wrong unit. Unless this is a concession. Look, I'm not going to take 18 from drawing a card, dude. just try to tempo this back in instead of trying to get value out of it because I want to maximize damage. And now I know I said... Okay, fine. I know I said I'm not a huge fan of playing stuff pre-combat, but... I'm basically putting him to the point where if he does not have a creature here, yeah, this needs to be a creature. And this is why. I'm going to cast this twice. Okay, cool. All right, not bad. I don't necessarily like that strategy because he wasn't putting early pressure on. If I had taken a little bit more early damage I probably would have hurt a lot more from it, uh, but those were, you know, the next two games in my series, uh, the next video is just going to be, you know, for you, 10 minutes, for me, 30 seconds later, I'll be doing the next two fights. I just want to see how well I can do finishing up this series, but I'm pretty okay with my draft so far. Uh, I'm, I'm pretty sure I'm playing against people who are trying new strategies and figuring out, but if you are trying to build, like, a uh, you know pox deck where you're just taking Teemo chunks all the time. You really want to be able to do a lot of chip damage, so you may want to lean into a more elusive style deck because even when I was ripping five damage a card, it just wasn't enough to take me down unless you get that early chip damage in. All right, so thanks for watching, guys. See you in the next video.